So I've imported my mesh into Substance Painter and I've baked some maps. So I've baked everything here. Um, you can see how we have some of the normal details right here. And I'm going to use, use this smart material down here, the steel one, just to uh, get some detail around the, uh, the normal details. So let's say you finished uh, texturing your mesh. Now it's time to export the textures. So this is an important part. We need to export um, a few of these mesh maps over here. So we're going to configure a new export. I already have one called normal map baking. So what we're going to do is the three most important ones are the curvature, uh, the world space normals, and the ambient occlusion. So the curvature in AO can just use a grayscale. Um, map and uh, the world space normal can use the RGB one so up here uh, and then you can just drag them from over here and then just export out so now over in Photoshop we want to open our base color which is our diffuse or albedo whatever you want to call it so that's here so you can see how there's already been like an outline from the smart material that we added in substance um, but we want to add, get more more detail to this. So that's where the other maps come in. So we're going to import the AO map on top. We're also going to grab the curvature. And we're going to open up the world space normal in another project. So, yeah. With the AO, we want to just add a multiply. Change the blending mode to multiply. So that's that properly. So you can see how we're already getting a bit of shade it, shading. So another important thing we need to do is grab the green channel from the world space normals uh, te texture. Just come over here into channels. We have the green channel here. You can just control A, control C that back to our other project and just paste that yeah we can drop that down let's call this old space normal wsn um and we also want to change this to a multiply as we can see use this for reference you see how it adds that certain so you can use uh, soft light here, but you can see how that affects the whole uh, texture here. So we're just going to use, I'm going to go with multiply. That just adds that in that detail there. Um, now another one is a curvature. Now this is if you want a bit extra detail. Um, using the default, uh, it's a bit harsh, even if you lower the opacity down, it can be a bit rough. What I'm going to do is I just want these these black and white lines here. So what I want to do is I'm going to use a uh, color range. I'm going to select this gray area. Change the fuzziness a bit. Just going to delete that. I just have to convert that over. Delete that now. Control D to deselect. Now we have these edge highlights here. Uh, what we can do is we can pull them, turn down the opacity, and just add a bit of a bit of uh, detail on the edges here. it to extreme, maybe like 20%. So you can see how all these maps add up. And add that certain look we're going for. So that's how I achieved this result. I'm going to be making another video using uh, the program X normal to bake all the maps instead of Substance Painter. Um, I'll be using a bit more of a complicated mesh as well to just showcase a, a more complicated or different workflow that might be even more helpful than this tutorial. Anyways, uh, I hope uh, the video helped and take care.